Paul Pogba ban has now been reduced. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, developments on Paul Pogba also on his future, not just on the ban. And more to say on Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag, William Saliba, what's going on? And also something on Real Madrid. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, the big topic of the last 24 hours on the market has been Paul Pogba. Yes, because the big breaking news is there. Paul Pogba is set to return to professional football. What happens? Paul Pogba had a four-year ban after that uh, drug ban. So Paul Pogba uh, was still working as a top professional, still training on his own. So keeping uh, himself uh, fit for the next step. Why? Because Paul Pogba has always been stating in private, in public, that he was convinced his ban was going to be reduced because he was not aware of this um, uh, situation uh, for the doping case. So Paul Pogba ban has now been reduced. It's going to be from four years to 18 months. What does it mean? He already served one year ban and so Paul Pogba from January can return to training with Juventus. From March can be back playing official games for a football club or for the national team and with the national team in case they want. So this is the news of the last 24 hours. But here on YouTube, guys, I wanted to update you on the future of Paul Pogba because the internal feeling at Juventus is that Juve are still convinced of the decision to part ways with Paul Pogba. So Juventus were waiting for an official statement on the ban of Paul Pogba. Now the statement is coming. And so Juventus feeling remains to reach an agreement with Paul Pogba and terminate his contract. So Pogba could be available on the market from January for March when he will be ready to play football on a free transfer because his contract is expected to be terminated at Juventus. This is the intention of the club. Let's see how the conversation with Pogba will go. Let's see what kind of options Pogba will have on the market. But for sure, could be an interesting opportunity. Paul Pogba back to football. That's for sure. That's guaranteed. And we wish for Pogba really all the best because it's an important moment for his life, for his career after a difficult year, but also with Juventus now discussions to take place to terminate the contract and so there is a really concrete, strong possibility to see Pogba available on the market, on a free. Then guys, more to mention on other cases of the last, of the recent hours. An interview of Tony Rudiger, a big interview with Inside Scoop. Congrats to them. Really nice interview. You can find an interview here on YouTube. Really interesting when Rudiger spoke about everything. And then when they asked him uh, who are the best centre-backs in the world, he wanted to mention William Saliba, also Virgil van Dijk, also Gabriel Magalhaes, spending great words for Gabriel and Saliba. But also when they asked him a centre-back you would sign, Tony Rudiger immediately said again, William Saliba. So panic for uh, some fans. Many of you asking me about the situation of Saliba, but uh, let me clarify that there was nothing ongoing between Real Madrid or any other club for Saliba in the summer. We had rumors about PSG, we had rumors about Spanish clubs, but Saliba was never considering to leave uh, Arsenal. He extended his contract, uh, if uh, I remember well, it was end of May, beginning of June uh, 2023, so Paul Pogba, uh, sorry, uh, William Saliba never really considered to leave uh, Arsenal. His life at Arsenal is fantastic, so he's very happy with the club, he's very happy with the league, he's very happy with the city, he's very happy with the manager and the project of Arsenal together with Mikel Arteta, so he can see the ambition, he can see how important he is for Arsenal and how important is the entire project at Arsenal. So Saliba is really happy. His contract is still long, at the moment there are no conversations or negotiations with any club, so the appreciation of Rudiger, I would say, is quite obvious. Saliba is one of the best players in the world in his position for sure, and so to see uh, Rudiger saying that is not surprising, is obviously something very positive for the player and for the value of the player, but I can guarantee to you that Saliba is very happy at Arsenal and Arsenal are more than happy with him, so the intention is absolutely to continue together for the long term, then we will see how long, but for sure that's the situation at the moment on Real Madrid and on centre-backs, 
We know the strategy of Real Madrid contracts are always crucial, and so they extended the contract of Andre Lunin. It was important, out of contract in 2025. They are set to extend the contract of Ferland Mendy. He's already signed, will be official soon. Uh, Ferland Mendy will sign till 2027. He was also out of contract in 2025. So one more important extension for Real Madrid to avoid uh, a big name in the free agents like Ferland Mendy and another one. Andre Lunin for Real Madrid big hours ahead because Real Madrid always think about the future and one of the players of the future they see in the team is Juan Martinez, Spanish player, centre-back, 17 years old. Uh, he had to be the centre-back, the new face of the centre-backs in Real Madrid squad this season. He was with the first squad in the preseason, but while he was with the first squad in the preseason, he torn his ACL. So Juan Martinez will be out till the beginning of the season 2025-2026, but Real Madrid started to support him also off the pitch, always trusting the player, believing in the player, and now giving him a new contract because Juan Martinez on Friday signed a new deal at Real Madrid 2026 with already a verbal pact for the player to sign a longer contract when he will turn 18 but also important to say that the salary will be higher and the release clause will change. The release clause will be over 50 million euros. So. Juan Martinez signs new deal at Real Madrid with his agent Fali Ramadani taking care of the negotiation and so Real Madrid are prepared to trust one more youngster for the future of the club and then guys a big weekend ahead for Manchester United important weekend after the draw against Porto remember what I told you at the beginning of the week it's a crucial week for Eric Ten Hag the performance and the result Draw in Porto in a crazy game, 2-0, 3-2, 3-3, Harry Maguire scoring, so really confusing game for Manchester United. This game between May United and Aston Villa could be really important for the future of Eric Ten Hag. Because again, Ineos want to see a reaction. Sergio Ratcliffe uh, had the opportunity to comment to BBC about Eric Ten Hag, but he said, I like Eric Ten Hag, but it's not on me to make the decision, it's on the management. So the co-owner had the chance to say, no, Ten Hag is untouchable, and he didn't say that, because the reality is that Manchester United internally are discussing about the situation of Ten Hag. They want to see this reaction, they want to see results, and so the game with Aston Villa could be important, could be crucial for the future of Eric Ten Hag. Because internal talks are ongoing, May United want to see this reaction in the face of the players, in the eyes of the players, in the performances on uh, Sunday, and also they want to see that against the Porto. They want to see the reaction. The result is really important, but also the reaction, the body language, several things are really important to May United as they want to make sure that Keep going with Eric Ten Hag is the best decision possible. So let's see this game with Aston Villa. Let's see how Ineos and the management, so Dan Ashworth, so Omar Berrada, so Jason Wilcox and all the people at the club will decide to act for the future of Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Eric Ten Hag, in or out, what's your feeling about that? And also guys, uh, William Saliba, Juan Martinez and Paul Pogba, which club should go for him? Let me know your opinion, guys, on all these topics here in comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Ciao.